Guys, welcome to another episode of Into the West Comics. My name is Frank, and we got the band all back together. Hey. Sonny is here. Yo, what up? George Lucas is here. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hot Dog Paul is here. What it do, baby? Hey, hey, hey. I don't know if you're, gonna ever live, if you're ever going to live down the Hot Dog nickname. Live yeah. It, live it down makes if it sound like I don't want it. In the, if you want me to leave it in the past, I will. No, no. Okay, then it's going to be staying. It's yeah. going to be in the in your future. Uh, okay, What's up? <laughs> guys. Yesterday was perhaps we're going to get into a lot of comic book talk this week. Yeah, like some Yester- news talk. Y- yesterday was perhaps the. It was definitely the biggest uh, new comic book day of the year because it was the first one. Okay. But it was the largest. <laughs> I mean, true. there was so much Bad. stuff. Yeah, yeah. I hurt my back putting my books in the car yesterday because mm. there's so much stuff to buy nice uh future state mm-hmm. you have the uh, death metal finale yep you have all the uh king and black crossovers didn't get a ton of those but you get a couple all right um so much stuff that we got to go over but we need to start with uh something that seems like it's been going on for a while paul is the uh death metal series mm-hmm. yeah man it finally wrapped up yesterday and um Spoiler what did you alert. Think? Spoiler alerts. Spoiler alerts, guys. It did indeed. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm super glad that I read it the way I read it because uh, I had a, uh, like, I had been buying them and keeping up with it, but I wasn't, like, reading it as it came out. And uh, so, um, sorry. Uh, okay. And I read them all in bulk, like, all at the same time nice. to where there was only, like, two or so left. Right you, like, when binged I them? I yeah. like, exactly. Binge read. And so, binge read. I only had the last two to read nice. as they came out, and it made the story way more succinct because that's the type of story where if you don't read it all at the same time, you can kind of get lost. For sure. Mm-hmm. But it was for sure. It was so much fun to read. They made Wonder Woman the main character. I uh, like that. And the, that uh, art, that artwork that you showed and, and sent through the group chat. Oh my gosh, it's sitting right here behind. Yeah, it's yeah, behind yeah. it's like, yeah. like I don't usually like nerd out about covers or whatnot, but mm-hmm. I literally got home, sat there, and I stared at that cover for like. Super, Ten minutes. I was just like, cool. <laughs> it was super cool. But yeah, cool. I think Snyder, uh, the coloring team, and uh, Capullo like have if they haven't already, they solidified themselves as like the best team of the past ten years. If I, I don't feel like I'll get a lot of pushback on that. I, no, they for have sure. Been the most no, consistently good. No, for sure. I've never read anything from them where I'm like, mm. yeah, yeah, agreed. But yeah, I'm trying not to do spoilers, but it was so now Donovan just started <laughs> you guys, reading. Death yeah, yeah, so you guys can spoil. It. Like, I'm, I'm okay. I'll live. How far, like, are you down? Literally got to issue one. Oh, sorry, there's bud. A, there's a lot. No, no, I, 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 I'm very well aware of that. You know, I got kids, man. No, I got, no, no, no. I got no. little ones, so it's a long story. Sitting down, sitting down, and reading a full story, uh, in the time that I would like to before coming onto the show. Sometimes it's like, eh, okay. a little unrealistic mm. for right. me. Right. So. No, no, no. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, yeah, but I'm on number one, and so, I really, really, really like it. That's the cool thing about our show is uh, if you do miss out on some stuff, you can watch, kind of catch up on the what, mm-hmm. like the cliff notes, the little cheat yes. codes to so, everything. So please, my friends, talk amongst yourselves. I can't wait to hear more about it. <laughs> all, all, right, right. all right. So what happens in the, in, in, in the end, boys? Because you guys just finished it a little bit more clearly so, than I did. Basically, we end up with a uh, clean slate, and all. basically what I got from it was everything's in continuity. Yep. Everything happened. Uh, New Fifty Two rebirth. Before that, everything. Right. And and more importantly, I think going forward, all the characters remember everything too. Like, and that's the since the last crisis that didn't happen. You no. know, people forgot everything. This time, everybody remembers everything. The craziest change is the source wall is gone. Mm-hmm. So it's right. uh, there's no barrier between dimensions and worlds and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I love that. So that's crazy. And they keep changing the <clears throat> timelines like over and over again. Like when they, whenever uh, DC would have these huge crossover events, it's like they were putting your timeline on pause. Like I'd go back to like the the original Crisis on Infinite Earths, mm-hmm. and then Legends or the Millennium Story or whatever. Right. It's like they're putting everything on hold. What Snyder did a great job of of this is that he he bridged all the gaps. Mm-hmm. He's so good, and he was able to Best, he's able to connect all the dots. And he makes it fluid. And I'll say even more so for Paul, because I know he's going to make a point. I think that I'm thinking the same lines he is. <laughs> the way that Dark Knight's Death Metal, the original Dark Knight's um, series, 
like ended it so abruptly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They kind of took their time and it paid service to having all of these other tie-ins Agreed. to be able to tell the story a lot better yep. because Agreed. it felt rushed when you got to the end of the the uh, original series. Mm-hmm. You're like the issue seven. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa I want more of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, wait, 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 wait. With the eighth and ninth issue, they added the seventh issue, yeah. and then it just ended. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, uh, okay. And then it felt super unfinished. Yeah, you, you it, it got you to the point where you mm-hmm. were you were already hooked. You got the bait. You're already hooked. And then they just kind of pull the rug under you. And you're like, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I know you have more material. I know there's more to this story and, because there's the references. And, and I think uh, now with it all out. Mm-hmm. Uh, Snyder's original medals, uh, Snyder's run on Justice mm-hmm. League, and with the little No Justice run right before it, nice. and now Death Medals. I think to read, I will definitely do it at some point to read all of that as one big story because that's what it is. It like, is essentially, yeah. And yeah. it's just one big run. And I feel like this did kind of, uh, not as big of an event, obviously, but what Infinite or Crisis on Infinite Earths mm-hmm. did in the uh, 80s. Okay. It, Crisis on Infinite Earth made everything make more sense by removing all the continuity and making it fresh. Right. This, weirdly, did the opposite because it, it made everything make more sense because everything you've read counts now. Right. And all it bridged the, the gaps. Mm-hmm. And that that is so important, I think, especially in comic book storytelling because I remember when New 52 came out, I was like, okay, I'm going to have to like reprogram my mind to think in a different way. And then mm-hmm. Rebirth came out and I was like... Right. Okay, I'm gonna have to retrain my mind in a different way again. Okay, so so, so do you think that this is another uh, another reboot that you're just gonna be like, all right, how many times do we need to reboot this though? Because this is definitely another. The, at the end of this, it was a uh, reboot, and there's only uh, our our main universe and uh, uh, Elseworld. It's a thing called Elseworld, and we yeah. don't know what it's what it is. But yet, it sounds you know? like it's condensed now, so we're not it's, having to try well, and figure is. out. It is. It is very much so condensed. And thank God. Okay, so you kind of touched on something that he doesn't really know. So at the end, it's there's uh, everything is restored. There's our Earth, or what do you want? What is it? Prime Earth or whatever? Prime, yeah. Earth, Earth yeah. one, Earth, Earth prime. zero. Um, and then, but that's not the main source of uh, energy in the universe anymore. Right. The center of the universe. There's two other uh what do they call it like sources of energy there's a a planet somewhere that they're not sure about where it's at and then there's one called else worlds right which i think it's march and manhunter that's talking about it i believe so I'm and not too sure. um that and so right. it's like what's this going forward but i also think it's a was a better way of rebooting things because everything counts and we could just move forward with it we don't have to be like well this here pick, yeah it's pick, a clean pick, little this. wash you know that's yeah. fine that's fun so i definitely like the way and one of the before i forget Morrison is great. Yeah. But I think Snyder does a better job of making confusing things less confusing than he does. Because if you read uh, Final Crisis and all stuff leading up to that, I mean, I've read millions of comics. Right. And that sometimes still doesn't make sense to me. Like, I'm no, like, no, no. what is mm-hmm. happening here? And Snyder, this is a similar level of stuff, rebooting this, this, that, or the other right. thing. Right, right. And it made more sense. It's just about getting it done the right way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, it's it's definitely hard. After I saw, I mean, you could see, you know, Flashpoint, and then there's a reboot. And then mm-hmm. something else happens. There's a crisis of something. Even uh, they did it in the CW. And mm-hmm. all of the heroes are now on one Earth. And that's right. how they can kind of bridge the gaps. I'm cool with it. The story was done really well. Do I need another reboot though? Like, how many times do we need to do this? Yeah. You know, so I'm, I'm. So I don't know if it's necessarily a reboot. What we're getting, I think it's like a pause and a look ahead. Mm-hmm. We're going right. to get different versions, um, in the future, somewhere down the line, right? Of well-known heroes and teams, and different, uh, different people doing different things. I think what we were talking about that New Earth, uh, it might not have to do with this story, but. Lex Luthor is running a different Earth under a red sun. Mm-hmm. Uh, Superman, if he wants to go there, just has to use the hands. You yep. know what I mean? So, right. I'm I so think, excited to read oh, this. Man, yeah. So um, excited to read this. And uh, I just blinked. Uh, so you, you've, you've, you're talking about um, Deceased ended this week as oh, well, a Tom Taylor I'm series. I'm actually super glad you said that because that's what I just blinked on. <laughs> so we're talking about uh, the future state stuff going on. Mm-hmm. And if you want to get a little taste of that or what like the teams could be in the future, that's what Deceased is. Yeah. We get, first of all, it's incredible. It's like one of the easiest comics I've ever read. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if that makes sense necessarily, but it's like so breezy. Everything sure, the, is, the pace is good. It's so incredible. Yeah, Tom really Taylor is. is so good. And really the art is incredible. Is. The art on uh, the middle one, Unkillables, I think is like 
unmatched. Like it's, I thought it was Frank Quietly uh, when I first read it because mm-hmm. it was very similar, but I can't remember who it is. But it was so good. So it, it it's the three uh, cutoffs. Is it uh, Unkillables? Is it uh, Dead Planet? And then it's, something else. It's Deceased, Unkillables, and Dead Planet. And there's okay. like a digital comic or something that mm-hmm. I didn't. I'm not too sure about it, but I got I got pretty far into Dead Planet, and I really enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. I really really enjoyed that. Yeah. Um. But. By the end of Dead Planet, uh, well, it's not over yet, but no, 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 no. Superman is Jonathan Kent, mm-hmm. his son. Batman yeah, Damian is Damian Wayne. Wayne. They're adults. Black Canary is Green Lantern. Green Lantern. She has a lantern and, ring. And uh, it, it's so good. Who, did you get as far as who's, who is Constantine? Uh, wait, what? <sighs> I've read to the newest issue. I haven't read any of it. So Spoiler I alert. I have not read it either. I'm I, I know he's... Yeah. Spoiler alert, boys. He's pimped out with all like the staffs and everything and the so, helmets okay yeah, yeah. so uh he goes into a room <clears throat> what's his house called that travels uh i forget what it is i don't remember you uh you can only have access to it like satana has it or whatever anywho there's uh they're behind a door and uh constantine is supposed to let if i believe it is merlin in don't quote me mm. He uses the staff uh or excuse me the spear of destiny to uh stab uh, uh fate takes his helmet, mm-hmm. puts the helmet on, has the spear of destiny, the the helmet and uh the rag of, from Ragman, Ragman with all the souls with all the souls of all the fallen <clears throat> oh, fallen heroes me. that that he saved. Mm-hmm. So he has like kind of know like some type of power boost for sure. Um and, yeah, he's really wow. OP right now. Because oh excuse me, because uh in Paris uh the earth just cracked open and it's spewing red lava and uh we're trying to figure out like oh what's going on over here? Uh, Trigon is pissed that there's all these dead zombies walking around Earth, and he's like, "No, nah, your souls belong to me. Why are they walking around here? I'm pissed." He breaks open Paris, starts running around. So Doctor Fate has to, well, Constantine Fate has to do his thing to try and help. Everything him. is that's reaching, pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy. <laughs> you just sold me. I'm like, <laughs> everything is reaching like a climax. Jeez. And I'll tell you right now, if there's one more issue for Dead Planet, this is gonna continue because there's no way they're gonna wrap everything up in this one comic. Oh no! You have, you have Trigon coming out of Earth. Oh, by the way, you have Penguin and a bunch of uh, other... All of the smartest villains, like uh, Penguin, Freeze, you know, all like, uh, they're doing their own thing. They just, oh... uh, They sent out an army of Amazos to try to kill all the... uh, The surviving uh, heroes on Earth. What a trip. So it's not just one Amazo, it's like 40 of them. Why am I not reading this? Dude. Why can't I be reading this? And then you have... They just figured out the cure. With Cyborg, he has the meta cure in his in his DNA. So you have like three different panels going on where it's like the heroes, they just figured out how to save everybody. They're on the way. And then it switches over and it's the villains. They're like, we're killing everybody. We're and sending Trigon's amazing. killing everybody And then everybody on the third too. one, it's like Trigon coming out of Paris. It's and he's so pissed. good. Just so good. It's so good. <laughs> Sorry, Dang. guys. I'm excited for that. Yeah. That was really good. You got to read it. Got to read so it. So with, uh, you, you mentioned Tom I'm Taylor. Sorry. I mean- he doesn't have a lot of projects working, so he could do potentially another deceased series. He's only got two other things that I know of that he's he's got a future project, but going on right now, he writes Seven Secrets. Yeah, dude. The only thing that he's going to be working on that we know of is the new Nightwing series. Mm-hmm. That's going to be kind of sick. like a... It's going to be fun. It's Nightwing, and Barbara Gordon's going to be involved yeah, in some capacity. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're, we're looking forward to that. That's, that's, that's in March, I think, that's that he starts uh, writing Nightwing. So, so I'm, I'm excited for that. that. Uh, since we're kind of on the topic, what, what are we talking about Future State? You said six, but there's like, there's like there's six, a, there's and then there's like a bunch of little tie-ins. Um, do you know any specifics what you're excited for on that side? Because this is also overwhelming. <laughs> I can tell you. Okay, so I can tell oh you what gosh. I've read so far. Yeah, yeah. I, I picked up. I picked up all of the future states that came out yesterday. Sick. All of the titles. Um, Lucky. What'd you get? What'd we'll you get? be passing them around like book club. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Got the Harley Quinn. Got Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman's back here on the wall. Uh, they got the next Batman that is uh, Luke Fox. Is Lucius Fox's yes, son? Dude, yep. I'm stoked um, for that. Uh, got that one. Swamp Thing. Got the Swamp Thing. Okay, that's a little side that sidebar. Was, it's it's pretty trippy, but. You know, it it looks cool. The only thing I've read so far is Next Batman and um, Wonder Woman. Okay. Real quick, for Next Batman, they have like two little add-on stories. One is like an outsider story, okay. and one is like an Arkham Knights Ooh. type of thing. Neither one of those are really that great. The Batman story in particular is cool. Okay. I'm looking forward to seeing how that develops. Okay. Mm-hmm. The Wonder Woman story, I mean... Was it better than the movie? 
Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not even a hesitation. Wow. Uh, the character's name is Yara Flor. Okay. She is a Brazilian Wonder Woman. Ooh. Uh, I want to tell you how popular the character is already since they announced her uh, involvement or her, her role as the Brazilian Wonder Woman. Okay. WB has already greenlit a series. Wow. For a uh, Yara Floor Wonder Woman wow. television series okay. or a streaming series. Something. Wow. Some Something project. in that capacity. Some project. Brazil. Wow. Brazil's like, the, on the fire country right has now. exploded <laughs> because course. of the popularity of the character. On They've got a Brazilian fire. superhero. On fire. You know, they haven't had one since Pele. So they're, you know, they're losing their minds, oh, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, that 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 in part is is ridiculous. Well, maybe some of those supermodels. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a different type of yeah. different type of hero. Not, not <laughs> all heroes wear capes. Different type of, different type of life saving. Anderson uh, Silva. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's fair. <laughs> um, but uh, so far, this, I've I've only read two of the books okay. and I've liked them. Nice. Uh, I've heard mixed things on the the Flash was another one that came out. I, oh. I heard mixed things on the Flash. So 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 Flash uh, loses his powers and he has all of his um, enemies like the the gun, the, uh, Mr. Cold's gun. Yep. Uh, he has all of their weapons to try and stop Wally West because Wally West is evil. Evil. He's possessed from something. Yep. So that's interesting. Yeah, that's but really. Interesting. Th- there's a lot to read. My my reading pile is like it's, it's stupid. Yeah, it was like it's 25 a, books, wasn't it? That it's, came out. It's well. For Future State, yeah, there was six titles yesterday. Oh, so that, that yesterday. Were, I mean, that were but, announced. But to- right? but total, there's like fifteen titles, I think, or sixteen titles. Okay, dude, because there's like three superhero, Superman. There's a Justice League, a Teen yeah, Titans. The, I know Superman Yo. of Metropolis is one. That, oh, Imperious that looks Lex. pretty interesting. That looks I like really the artwork. I like the artwork. Uh, is that the one Kennedy's on? I think that, that might be. Yeah. On. possibly. That might and then be I it. and I know Suicide Squad was one of them that I'm mm-hmm. I'm excited for as well. Uh, the Teen Titans one is sick. It's uh. The original Teen Titans come back together because something happened at the tower, and they need to figure out what's going on. Dude, but there's a uh, the dark or excuse me, yeah, the Dark Detective. Mm-hmm. It's a Batman thing. Uh, I'm really excited about. Not that. sure who it who it could be. I don't know who it is either. I don't know. I've got my ideas, but okay. you know, I don't know. The, the Future State was uh, so far. It's been good. I've only read two, and I like both. So is anything gonna... for the uh, the Batman Future States confirmed? Like Terry McGinnis. Not yet. I don't know. Because that check. surprises me if not. not like he's yet. not involved in some way, shape, or form. Not yet. Because he's s- like, he's the future Batman. Because, I, I mean, mean but yeah, but McGinnis is like way down the line, isn't he? Yeah. I saw a uh, fan a fan art of uh, that, actually. Check this out. Oh, that's pretty dope. That's dope. I think I could get behind that. I like it. That is cool. We'll, so, post, we'll post that up later. I, I mm-hmm. Yeah, I have so many thoughts on that. Okay. So many thoughts on that. So we're like speaking that. about Batman, and when we think about Batman, we think Batman and Robin. And we think about the Titans, Ooh. we think about a collection of sidekicks. The Teen Titan. Wait, this is a segue. A He's the best Hell segue. Hell so, a segue, no, Frank. When, when, wow. When, well, so when speaking about uh, sidekicks. Right. You have to talk about who do we Who do we think of? Who comes to mind as like one of or a couple of your favorites as far as a sidekick goes? Let's go around the room, boys. I mean, we always start over there. Let's we do go. always start over here. <laughs> so um, hot dog first. Hot diggity dog. So um, the two that I mean, the two that comes to mind for me immediately. One kind of doesn't count anymore, and one like counts but kind of still doesn't count. Is Wally West and uh, Dick Grayson. Yep. Um, Wally West is the Flash that I grew up reading because I was reading Morrison's JLA, and okay. that was Wally West. So, right. Good. Um, and he's like, I'm like always biased towards Wally West and stories with him and Barry Allen. I always want Wally. And like, there's a part in a, uh, uh, death metals where like Barry Allen, like admits that Wally West is faster than him. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. yeah, he was. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then Nightwing is like, we, we were talking about like, which sidekicks could, uh, like surpass, their, surpass predecessor. their predecessor, if you will. And, uh, I, Nightwing will never surpass Batman in popularity. But as far as a character goes, I think in a it's lot of ways, like I was talking to you guys before the show, I'm reading uh, Black Mirror right now, which is uh, Dick Grayson, but he is Batman because uh, Bruce Wayne is out there running Batman Incorporated, which is like Batman Worldwide. <laughs> it's very confusing. You know? I kind of like it, though. But no, I, I do like it. It's um, like d- he collects different uh, bat people, per se, yep. of uh, internationally to, to keep a, a well 
you know, known eye on everything. And it leaves Dick Grayson in Gotham to be Gotham's Batman. And Ooh. in a lot of ways, I think Dick Grayson is everything that Bruce wishes he was. And he's like, hmm. and that's why I like Dick Grayson so much because he's, he's so much happier of a person than Bruce. Right. And it's like, that's what Bruce wanted for him. And that's why Bruce took him under his wing. For sure. And I mean, the Bat family in general is always Bruce's moral compass, but like, expe- especially Dick Grayson. Yeah. And he's like always, he's always like, I always love when he's in a story or he's got something to do with something because like he grounds Batman and he's like, Hey, I've been with you through all this. I mm-hmm. agree. You're going to be all right. Every time he's on some kind of muck or do- doing something crazy, Nightwing always mm-hmm. comes through, mm-hmm. saves him. You know what I mean? So I definitely agree. Uh, he's definitely my number one. Uh, Wally West is up there too. I think when we talk about surpassing their predecessor, reading that he's faster exactly, and seeing it, <clears throat> I think is the coolest thing. Yeah. Um, so I agree there. Did you only get two? That's all. I, I mean, that's all, right. all I can okay. think of. Now you're good. Now you're good. What do you think, man? I, I think of, I mean, for obvious reasons, because I'm a, the Batman is my favorite. Dick Grayson, yes, is like the sidekick of sidekicks. He goes and does I mean, quintessential, if you will. I mean, yes. he's not he's Nightwing, and then he becomes Batman. I mean, he's just oh, everything yeah. that you really love about you know Dick Grayson and the, like how he was brought up. It's all great, but I think the one sidekick that has transcended more than their uh, predecessor. And has stepped up and has created their own culture and their own standalones that have been wildly successful and popular is Harley Quinn. <sighs> wow, that's, that's my that was my that was my next one. I like that. <laughs> Harley, that was my next one. Harley Let's Quinn go. is. I mean, you, you think about Harley Quinn. We first see her when the animated series, and everyone's like, "We love her." Oh yeah, we love her a lot, mm-hmm. and she's so great. And then she starts getting her own line of books that come out, and you're like, "What the heck?" Then she's in the Suicide Squad, mm-hmm. and then. You see all these amazing things about her, and you, and it she she makes you forget about the Joker, oh, and yeah. I think that's extremely hard to do to sure. have you you know yes of course Mister J and she yeah. references him all the time, but she is really her own. She's really her own thing. She's not tied to you know. There's you know yes she's still got a soul tie. I guess you could say to a mm-hmm. uh, Joker, but uh, still she, to me she she transcends like what a sidekick is supposed to be and kind of does her own thing. And I, I, I've always really appreciated about her, but I mean, all of our sidekicks that we've all loved before, you know, especially in the Batman world. Cause that's where it was really most. I prevalent. agree there too. You prevalent. know how great Harley Quinn is? I forgot she was technically a sidekick. That's how yeah. Ooh, massive that, yeah. of a yeah. character. She, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you yeah, forget yeah. that she was she like, rid of that. she did yeah. every, yeah, she, that, that stick. She's not, she's not Joker's girlfriend. No, she's no. Harley Quinn. Exactly. She's working with Batman nowadays a little mm-hmm. bit. You so, know, so for so, me, it's so for me, sidekick. my favorite is Dick Grayson. There's some, you know, some other honorable mentions that don't really get a lot of love. And that's Falcon. I love Falcon mm-hmm. with Cap. Even, even Bucky too. Like even those, you know, yeah, I like those, Bucky. those were all like, you know, great runs and, you know, but a lot of them, a lot of her, our guys don't have sidekicks that we really love except Batman. So for me, it's Dick Grayson, but my one that transcends the character that they were originally with was Harley Quinn. That's crazy because uh, Nightwing slash Robin. I'm so excited to hear what Sonny has to say. I just wanted what to say your, that. What was your obscure uh, Ada thing you were talking about? So it was just in an honorable mention. It had nothing <laughs> to do with like uh, surpassing um, their predecessor. I think a cool sidekick, though is uh casey jones from teenage mutant oh. ninja turtles oh i like that that's yeah. a great uh, call you know uh he that's great. he did uh what was it michelangelo went off on himself and he did uh what was it the night night walkers he, uh-huh. had, he had his own mm. uh thing his own uh, alias and then casey jones was his boy um so i think as a sidekick casey jones was my obscure one i like that you guys got number one and two my third is static shock Okay. Uh, oh. Static Shock, for me growing up, seeing uh, I could relate to this dude more than a lot more of superheroes that were on. Um, and uh, Black Lightning is cool. When you see him in Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, he's cool. But like Static Shock is like hip. He had his own right. uh, show. Yeah. It was the coolest thing. It was on WB. Uh, I think for me, 
I'll put him up there as surpassing his predecessor. Aren't they? Uh, isn't Michael B. Jordan producing a Static Shock? Yep. Shock movie? Yeah. yeah. There's there's some new there's some new stuff in the works. Mm-hmm. Milestone's killing it right now. There's all kind of stuff. I'm super excited. Relaunching it digitally and in print form. Yep. They're gonna be launching all the Very Milestone. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna get into titles that for sure. So I want to ask you guys a question before moving forward with some of the sidekick stuff. Do we think? I kind of don't think they do, but I think they could. Do we think the other Green Lanterns that spun out of Hal Jordan count as sidekicks that have kind of passed that? Like John Stewart, no uh, guy, uh, guy Gardner, and uh, Kyle Rayner more so than the other two. They don't count. I think. Kyle, I think. I think maybe the new two. What's her? What's Jessica the, Cruz? Jessica and Cruz Simon and Simon Baz. Baz. Maybe. Maybe them. Mm-hmm. I, I think it all depends on. You know, did they learn anything? And were they working in close proximity with their predecessors? I think that's why Rainer kind of counts for me. But okay. mm. Stewart and Gardner were always so much their own character. That right. They don't really fall into that. But Agreed. I was just curious. They took on the them. mantle of yeah. the ring as opposed to like, oh, Hal taught me this. Mm-hmm. No, he didn't teach you this at all. Like <laughs> Jessica Cruz kind of operated as a sidekick to Simon Baz while she was learning right. to become a lantern. She was right. like, mm-hmm. trying to figure out what it yeah. is. And like, uh, like Rainer was uh, like in the... Uh, Morrison's Justice League mentioned that again mm-hmm. he was always trying to work his way out of Hal's shadow right. like he was trying to solidify himself as the Green Lantern and right. like for me for whatever reason I didn't take the Rainer the way I took to Wally West but me neither but uh, Rainer was the Green Lantern I read gr- growing up because mm-hmm. that's where they were at that point because Hal Jordan was dead or Parallax or whatever yeah. and <laughs> Parallax was Rainer was uh, the new guy yeah wow what about you, Frank? Yeah. Well, I was uh, I was, I'm staying in that whole uh, Robin neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Um, Nightwing always felt to me more of his partner because he was it was Batman and Robin. It was like kind of like on that level. But all four of the Robins have been sort of like uh, a different version of really what Batman would have been. Hundred percent. In some type of like sounding board That's type true. of thing. Nightwing sort of grew up. He was mm-hmm. raised. He was like really the the ward mm-hmm. prior to him having another he tried out jason todd that was red it was hood. it was too fast you know too soon it didn't work out red hood had a temper or jason todd had a temper it didn't work <laughs> out for him it ultimately gets him you know killed he gets his right. head smashed in yep. uh tim drake is a guy who's obsessed with everything going on batman figured out on right. his own who batman is so he's sort of like the detective element well that's what they say tim drake is the best detective of all that's of them. that's that's what batman said yep he said you are the you are the best detective yeah. i know and damien's his son mm-hmm. it's which like, is a cr- and, and, he's and he's a lunatic crazy. so you look at yeah. bruce wayne in different stages of his life he they kind of mirror the robins yeah in a sense is like he could he could lean on his his intellect and be a great detective or he could be an angry kid right. like Damien, right. or he could be an angry young so, adult like Jason Todd, right. or he could be, you know, a good listener and, you know, kind of stay calm like what the original Robin slash Nightwing turns into. Right. So Robin, is, Titans, by the Robin way. is Batman. He's just, yes. he's everything that we come to expect him to be. It's, right. He's the mm-hmm. orphan in, uh, you're an orphan. Your parents died too. Let me take you in. Jason yeah. Todd's Basically. got a little bit of a temper. Right. Doesn't know how to, like, I mean, it's everything that you're saying. Tim Drake, you're a better detective than I am. And then, oh, now I'm a dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think we could agree that the character of Robin, not necessarily who's donning the cowl of Robin, yeah, but the, the symbol character of, of Robin. Robin might be the best sidekick. But ever. I love their chemistry when they all get to interact. And it yeah. doesn't happen very often. Oh, it's like a fun. But when they get the to best. interact, it's, it's like a best. family reunion. It's, 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 it's great. It, that they dynamic. this kid. Who's like, you know, Red Hood is distant from everybody, but Damien's like, oh, I want to fight him. He's yeah. like, he's a kid. He's like, I want, I'll, I'll fight like, Red yeah, Hood. I what's up? Like, he's I nuts. just want to see what he's about. And I think yeah. he might be my favorite Robin. Damien Wayne? Yeah. Okay, so obscure, your obscure thing was the... Um, Casey Jones. Casey Jones. Okay. I mean, I got... Does Crypto count as a sidekick? Yeah, Crypto counts. Yes. Yeah, crypto man. Counts. What do you mean? So Crypto's up there for yeah. me. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Might be the worst sidekick ever. Right? Uh, a dog. <laughs> Hit girl from Kick-Ass. I like that, yeah. Ah, that's cool. That's uh, cool. Sidekick to her dad or sidekick to Kick-Ass, but I think she was way cooler than him mm-hmm. and like <laughs> like had all of the, the guns and everything. I think she was way cooler. Uh, so uh, really dark uh, Red Lantern story, Dexter. 
you know who Dexter is? The cat? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So his owner was like killed and he was tossed into a lake and Atrocitus felt his anger sent him a red lantern ring. Yep. He ended of up be- he right yeah. becoming uh like a, a a red lantern bearer. So I think that's a cool a honorable mention, cool sidekick. Side note, Atrocitus uh, is like the coolest character ever. He's oh, so cool, dude. He's crazy. So cool, dude. Okay, so this is this is probably like way out there. All right. But I'm thinking about the lines of like someone who would be seen as like the the yin to their yang, the sort of like the Joker to the Batman. Right. But a guy who kind of gets some redeeming kind of qualities in the last few years. And it's something that we're going to be talking about probably next month. I think we're going to be doing this as like a homework assignment. Maybe we all get together and watch it. Okay. I'm talking about Johnny from Karate Kid. Oh. And it's come full circle for him to be, to play the villain. That's, that's in the Karate Kid movies yeah. for him to come full circle in the in these Cobra Kai series. I can't like he gets some them. he gets some like sort of like a uh, redemption, <laughs> you know, <laughs> as the as being the bad guy. You I get just started see. watching them yesterday. It's so good. They're actually I heard, I heard pretty good. good. I heard yeah, it's, I heard it's pretty good. It's yeah. it's so good, and um, I I really like what they've been able to do with Johnny. Is that he is a guy who is stuck in the eighties. And he doesn't care. He's not politically correct. Right. He's just, you know, he says things and just like he's without thinking. Okay. He calls hashtags, hash browns, you know, whatever. Like he's, <laughs> nice. he's, 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 he's ridiculous. Okay? Nice. okay. But he gets that redeeming quality to where you're going through the first season. I'm not giving any spoilers away. Was that you can't really decide who you're pulling for. Right. It's okay. good. Yeah. The first episode's like all Johnny. And then the second episode is all uh, Ralph Macchio. Okay. So you're having to like, it's like, oh man, Going like, back and forth, who do you go of... back and forth? And it's like their their universes are totally different. Like he's a successful car uh dealership owner and mechanic. Like he makes all the money in the world and he's a deadbeat uh like a handyman, handyman right. that gets okay. laid off of that his sucks. on the it's first so good. episode. Okay. It, we're gonna get into it. Yeah, we're, it's we're, Cobra we're gonna, Kai's we'll cover it. Cobra Sonny, Kai's it pretty like me good. And you got some watching to do. Yeah, I'm like, all yeah. right. I'm Cobra so Kai's off. pretty good. Like, I was pleasantly surprised when I like I popped it on. I was like, I mean, it went from decent. it went from the YouTube Red series yep, to, to, Netflix, to Netflix. So yeah. if that doesn't say something about it. I don't know what yeah. does. So to watch the second, told Mark I watched the I watched the third season. I think like in a weekend. I think I watched it Friday night when it came out. <laughs> it just went through, and that, the next day I finished it. I mean, I watched the, the whole thing. That's I'm awesome. rewatching the third season. So I mean it's okay. It's that really should good. tell you something, folks. Watch yeah. Cobra Kai. All right, it's, we'll it's, get on it's it. It's gonna happen soon. We'll get into that. Um, another thing that happened yesterday, the new comic book day, was this unre- the unrelenting hype machine that is the New Republic Oof. in relation to Star Oof. Wars. You couldn't go and get a copy at a shop. They were like hiding them or holding them back from people. Unless you had pre-ordered, you weren't going to get one. Um, you got one. We have one up here on the wall. <laughs> but you couldn't, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't get one. You know what I mean? um, it was, it's ridiculously, they're already selling on eBay of for course. like $20, $30 a piece. It's like, it's, it's like ridiculous, okay? Uh, this is what Star Wars is supposed to be, supposedly going to be banking on yeah. for the future. This might be, the Taika Waititi project. Dude, mm-hmm. and that's what I was thinking. And there's a trilogy. They're already talking about this is going to be the new trilogy. Um, High Republic, Old Republic. I mean, I'm, I, I kind of wish they kind of got some, like, Revan stuff. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Um, this is going to be all new. Uh, we're going to get all new, like, uh, sabers, all new saber colors, formations. They have crazy... Uh, uh, there was one that was, like, turquoise. There's, like, a double white one. You know what I mean? So what do all these other ones mean? Are they uh, like you know maces? Is it your? I'm like. Well, I'm thinking. I was. Sorry. No, no, no. So, um, so this is like this take place like before the original trilogy, right? Thousands That's, of years. So, yeah. yeah. What is it? Uh, two hundred years, years before, before Skywalker. Skywalker. And you're, oh, I thought you're it was you're like talking two thousand years. You're talking about all the different like lightsaber configurations and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I remember I was watching a video or reading something about uh Yoda and Count Dooku, and one of the things Yoda didn't like when he was training Count Dooku is that that twisted hilt that Count Dooku has right. is like in a Old Republic type of thing. Mm-hmm. Like that's the way uh, Jedis used to uh, configure their lightsabers because it helped in combat. And now during the uh, prequels, it was at a time where combat wasn't really a thing for uh, right, for right, Jedis. Right. And Yoda was like, this isn't necessary. There's unnecessary aggression in this. Right, There's right. this and that. 
So it'll be interesting to see if they like kind of touch on that and like oh, the, yeah. the different kinds of lightsabers and why they changed mm-hmm. and like what about them needed to be different then from now. Yeah, because there's like uh like one looks like kind of like Excalibur, and then there like I said there's like a single single one, but it has two blades and it's white, mm-hmm. which is super cool looking. Um, where is Yoda during all this? So he's involved. He's, he's, yeah, because they he's showed, training young. They showed uh, pictures of Padawans. Him. He's okay. he's training people, and it's sort of like I don't want to say he's in his prime. I mean, it's two hundred years younger. He's so he's like six hundred instead of nine hundred, nine hundred, eight hundred. So or my question it is. is: Is it just books, magazines, and there's an IDW stuff? series? Mm-hmm. Okay. There's a Marvel miniseries written Which is by super. Uh, Kevon Scott. That's good. Okay. Uh, Kevon Scott wrote Darth Vader's castle. Yeah. Vader's castle. Yeah, uh, he's so written good. Star Wars uh, adventure series before for IDW. Um, he's familiar with the lore. Uh, the books are being written by a couple of writers, but one of them is Charles Soule, who's currently writing Star Wars for Marvel Comics. Sick. And he said that he's been working on this story since he was eight years old. Oh, oh that's so cool. Oh, man. So this is like something that has uh, huge ramifications for him personally. I mean, oh, yeah. it's like a that's like a life goal for you right, to no, be able sure. to write. He's writing Star Wars comics. I mean, he wrote Darth Vader for two years, but he's writing Star Wars right now, now based right after Empire. Now it's something way huge. And this is something that's crazy, completely different. That's this, exciting. It's a, it's so, another level. And this High Republic, none of is any of it television or movies. Not yet. Not we're gonna okay. get we're gonna get a trilogy of movies somewhere way down the line. That's what you're saying about Taika Waititi, right? Yeah. 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 That's what we're oh, that's we're, what we're hoping. we think is what his involvement is going to be. Oh, gotcha. Okay, because I was confused because like I only read that it was like magazine books and well, to give you an comics. idea of how hype this was, like I didn't. I'm not really on top of Star Wars comics. I've heard nothing but good things about the Vader so, series, which is what I read. And then I'm like, that's what I say about Star Wars, but I could talk I don't know, hours about Star exactly. Wars. Exactly. Right. <laughs> even the Ky- <laughs> even the Kylo Ren series that just came it's just it, yeah, it's like so good ago. yeah it was and really like, so good, good. I, I went to maximum comics just to pick up uh the seventh death metals issue Plug and maximum and i literally maximum stood comics. outside like for 10 minutes before i was allowed in i have never in my life seen so many people in that store i was standing outside with like five other people waiting yeah. to go in and i yeah. was like like what's going what on? What is coming out what's right now? Happening? Like, and he thought like, it was for death metal. I so, I did. I was like, this did I miss something? Yeah, what? I was so confused. What? And then I started talking to a guy outside. He was like, No, I'm here for this. I was like, Oh, oh okay. yeah, they crushed it. Yeah, they, Marvel has crushed it mm-hmm. with Star Wars stuff. So it's a six issue miniseries. August twentieth um, starts. Yeah, the which one? Or the, uh, there was like some other five book something. Or so the novels, um, two are already out. Okay. And I think the third one comes out in March. Okay. This IDW series that's a High Republic series, it's going to be sort of like based for younger audiences. Okay. That started, that starts next week. Okay. The Marvel series started yesterday. That'll be for six issues. And then we might get a spinoff of some of the, the main characters, the main the main lead characters. They might get their own spinoff uh, miniseries. But listen, Star Wars isn't going away anytime soon. No. Absolutely. They're going to turn Star not. Wars into the next MCU. Yeah. That's their plan. And honestly, that's, that's their goal. That's 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 a, that's a really good bet because I'm st- once you announce something new, that's what they were talking about in the pitch meetings. They were like, "We want new. We mm-hmm. want new. We want new. We want new. We want new." So it's like, how do you take all of this content and try to make some new stuff? You know. What so I mean? do you think that's a do you think that's a good approach for them to go in the past? In order for them to advance whatever they're trying to I, do down the line, if there's the right amount yes. of Easter eggs and I think whatever, it's good yeah. to, to, in my opinion, get away from the Skywalker saga. Yeah. That's all we've had right for so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to get some, that's why I like the Mandalorian so much. Is it's until the last episode. It's really not that. It's right. a completely different story about completely different characters in this world. <laughs> Until the last episode. Until the last episode. <laughs> but, uh, he did like the last episode. I did. No, 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 no okay. for sure. No, I did. I'm just saying that it's going to be a lot of fun to see stories outside of that or oh the stories God, that yeah, lead dude. into that. And like maybe the uh, the when this prophecy is born of or how it was earlier, like all oh, the chosen one, the this, the mm-hmm. that. Um, and just see maybe there was other prophecies or stuff that was supposed to happen with oh, other people. Oh, there's got to be. It. Yeah. And I just think it'll spin off so many other things, and we'll get characters in there that will be like, all right, well, this person's grandchild- great-grandchildren in the future are this. Right. And we can have stories about that. 
and it just gives you so much more of an opportunity to branch out from there I agree. rather than going forward dude i mean even the like the bad guys that they're talking about the nile i believe they're 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 like yeah. some space pirates you know what i mean and there's like something called the the great disaster that happens we don't know what that is but it's something uh universal altering you know what i mean so like to think about all this stuff was happening way, way, way before all the stuff that we're used to seeing, it, I'm sold. And that's one of the reasons I'm so excited about that uh, Acolytes series. Yeah, is because they're like people who worship the, sh- uh, excuse me, the Sith and like the past and where they came from and why they do what they do and the rule of two and so on yep. and so forth. And I feel like a lot more gonna, history. We're gonna learn a lot about that and be able to get stuff spun out of that and maybe stuff from that series will connect from all the stuff with this old republic stuff High oh yeah they'll, stuff. They'll, they'll they'll connect everything and that, they know what they're doing so yeah i think it's a good thing to go in the past mm-hmm. rather than go forward so you can ground some stuff and then you can move forward i think there's something really wonderful about going forward as long as there's no prophecy talk that's tied to it uh-huh. i think we get a prophecy of the chosen one or this is supposed to happen that's supposed to happen and then when we finally get to it the 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 fruit of whatever the prophecy is always lets down that's true it always is like oh so that that was it i don't know man keanu reeves was the one and the prophecy like he did stop right. the war sure in the matrix yeah but i mean in star wars we we get to it we just gotta go <laughs> uh, but like what if it was like hey the galaxy's fine everything's good wait what are you doing who is this who is this evil force that's mm-hmm. trying to make things terrible again it's and then it's the you know that's how we get into yes prophecies start wars i get it it's yeah, star man. wars no, I, I agree with you but i mean as far as like star peace like going into you know <laughs> if we're going to go into the future let's make it so that if there's no prophecy tied to it there's no one there's no like let's explore the force in a different way like we've never explored it before let's see hmm. let's not see the jedi have a jedi academy let's see them just be jedi and they have this ability and then instead of being official guardians of peace for the galaxy they just are undercover and you don't really know who a jedi is or i don't know just trying to they're more mystical yeah they're more like more like merlins like more like wizards more you know you don't really see them a whole lot but when you do that's something very special something really really special that's like literally like the complete polar opposite of what they're doing on this one because they're sending so many different types of jedi on different types of planets you're getting to like you know there's like a like character art of like a wild wild west kind of looking yep. jedi you know what i mean oh, and, I, and i don't mind going into the like into 200 years before because you know the only reference we'd ever had was legend stuff uh but now disney's like no we're this is all new this is going to be the main continuity for it i'm fine that's they're trying to clean up they're trying I to clean just up gonna say I, I have a re- i have a a really good idea about why they're trying to go in the past they're trying to clean up stuff it's for one name ray skywalker yeah. They're trying to avoid going forward, right. so they have to further expand on anything related Correct. to this newer you gotta, trilogy. You got to back step, yeah, and then you her. can put out these new things. They want to go back. They want to lay a bunch of different groundwork and a bunch of different outlines. Yeah. They could go into, they could just do a novel about the history of the Sith. Yeah, and that would be the coolest. And they've like, never really even explored that. No, other than no. Clone if you Wars, do a super dark, obscure, like just Sith-based story, and maybe that's what Acolytes is going to be. Could it be. could be all about was the exploring the Sith like we've never seen it before, which is mm-hmm. why you're excited. I'm, I'm definitely excited, excited for, for it, it too. I'm really stoked because we have like characters like Bane and uh, Revan and. Uh, I'm blanking on some of the Plagueis. other Jar Jar Binks, Plagueis, Tyrannus. Jar Jar Binks. No, all like even guys. even like uh, how they did in the game where it has like the what's it the second sister? What are they called? The um, the uh, what are the Siths that go out and uh, hunt down the Jedi? The Inquisitors. Inquisitors. Yeah, Inquisitors. Inquisitors. Yeah. Oh, dude! And then mm-hmm. like the lead Inquisitor, he's like all gray with a cool saber. Just I to think... talk about the planet where where uh, Maul comes from, dude. That Sabrak, male, yeah. the, the male and female of the species, is just like they're witches. The females are witches. Yep, yeah. like, night sisters. Dude, it, it's it's nuts. They could go into so much. You, get, you give me a, a Darth Maul spinoff on on Disney Plus, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, they've laid the about. groundwork for that. They have they have so much content. I've always wanted to see when I, it's the Old Republic when they had the Sith invade the Jedi temple and you I saw want that so hundreds bad. of Sith against hundreds of Jedi. Like we saw that, that in video game and we were all like, this yeah. is, this is amazing. We love this. Like why, 
Like I go on YouTube sometimes and just watch those cinematics that they did it's for the game. It's so cool. And then the twins. So, yeah. They're so, it's so good. Like you're like, why can't we have something like that? Because yeah. we've seen, you know, the Jedi do their thing, but not to that level. No, like, right. Like really not to that level where, no. you know, they're not even using their, their saber. It's just like all crazy. And they're fighting, and then she fighting. turns it on, does it one, two, and then she shuts it off. I mean, we kind of saw that with Ahsoka in Mandalorian, mm-hmm. that sort of stuff. And then we saw, you know, how powerful Luke was at the end of Mandalorian yes. with him crushing, uh, a, you know, a droid scenes, with his, dude. you know, with the Force. And so, so cool. I would love to see more Jedi things. I think we get so hung up on spaceships and lasers and the cowboy aspects of Star Wars, but like. Laser that beams? like that like Jedi stuff is what re- is what hypes people up. We're gonna, like, we're gonna be getting that Je- in, the, in these upcoming series. I mean, yeah, did we sure. all not want at the end of Rise of Skywalker all of the Jedi showing up in ghost form somehow to be <laughs> well, next they all, to Rey? They all spoke. Yeah, I mean, yeah, which was right. But like, I saw kind of a cool edit where they yes, show up. Yes, yes, them. yes. Did you send that to no. us? No, no, I know exactly what you're but talking I about. I saw it. That was that was cool. I, yeah, bro, were you more hyped watching that, that than you were better. than the movie? Like they show like the better. clip is her saying, "No, I'm all the Jedi," and doing that, and then they cut to they show Anakin and Obi Wan and Yoda and Luke all behind her, stretching their hands out towards her. Like do like. If you just gave me that, like that's enough. Like that is totally enough. But their their voices, like was yeah. it was that Mace Windu or was that Ahsoka? Or I can't really tell. <laughs> I, I was, oh, I, that was Plo Koon. Oh, what, who <laughs> the average Star Wars fan has yeah, no, no, idea no idea about. Or like, the voice. Like when we were watching, my well, I took my wife. We went and saw Solo when it came out in theaters 109 years ago, and we're watching it. You and able to see a movie. Maul, you know, Maul shows up at the end. So cool. And she's like, "Wait, Spoiler. what? Why is Spoiler. why is Maul in this?" I was like, "Well, uh, <laughs> in Clone Wars, he showed." And I had to explain all that to her. She goes, "But I don't want to watch Clone Wars. I just right. want to go to the movies and enjoy oh, these." Man. But but that's the av- the average no, movie going. Yeah. Like, that's that's I, true. I think that's true. the but average there's movie YouTube goer- videos because they kind of summarize it. Because I'm probably not going to watch all four seasons. Of sure, Rebels. but no. But if you send a YouTube video. Like, hey, you're gonna need to watch this. Like, people will go, that's just too much work, man. Why do I have mm. to? Why do I have to watch this in order to get? Like, can't I just like? My wife totally gets the Mandalorian. Perfect plug for our, our show. You just watch our show. Yeah, you can <laughs> watch into the West into the comics. West comics. <laughs> we'll we'll do a recap of yeah. uh, Rebels. Absolutely, yeah. four seasons. For it. We'll do it really quick. We'll yeah. figure it out. We'll do it in a wrap. So I don't um, know. I just think going. Yes, going to the past is cool, but I just love to go in the future and. Really, I, I would love it to be written like a television show. It's like, hey, we ended season one. What the hell are we going to do when season two shows up? I don't know, mm-hmm. but we'll figure it out. Let's get in the writer's room and figure this out. Well, they have all these projects potentially for a plus, or we're going to get them in, in the big screen or an animated mm-hmm. form or something. You know, uh, we have something pretty big coming up next Friday that is uh, plus related, uh, something that just expanded from six episodes to nine. Speaking, of course, of WandaVision, uh, why do we think the last minute they decided to make it nine episodes versus six? Because they've been holding out on us, man. I think they were probably on the cutting room floor, and they have been holding out on us, and they were like, you know, I think we have enough here for nine episodes, and we don't have to cut as much out as we thought we did, and we want to give the fans more because they've waited so long. Yep. I don't want short episodes, though. I don't want, like, a 32-minute episode. It might be. That's it, exactly I, what it's going to be. But I think that's what's going to happen. Right in the middle, they're going to be like two, 35 minute guys, episodes. Yeah. I don't mind that as much as you guys. I think the I do mind sh- episodes are if better. I did, if I didn't they're... have to wait every week for 30 minutes. Oh, come on, content. man. You're like the last generation you used to live weekly on weekly television. You can't <laughs> I, nut up that's for, true. That's for true. just a week. Here. We used true. to do this when we were kids, this man. True. I used to have to wait. And I'm like, no way, dude. This <laughs> is going to come out next week. I was having to try to explain to these kids that I, it, that I uh, like mentor. I'm like, guys, you don't understand. They're like, we have to wait a week for Mandalorian. I was like. You guys don't understand the pain we had to go through Dude. when He-Man Masters of the Universe would come on every Saturday sure. morning and we couldn't watch it. No, it's true. And when it did come on, you know what happened right in the middle of it? Commercials, commercials happened. Dude. So we didn't even get to watch it in its full entirety because commercials. They're Think like, about like Voltron and stuff, you know, when I'm watching and I'm like, oh my God, he, what's going to happen next? He goes like this. Why didn't you just fast forward through them? Whoa. I wish. I wish. <laughs> That's, oh. a whole, that's a whole nother generation. So basically, Sonny, oh. be grateful, would you? No, I am, dude. I am. Do you I think am. that it's strategic, though, for them to release it when they did because they, they, they put the date in, in place for uh, 
Falcon and Winter Soldier to be March 19th. Mm. If you go nine weeks out, it would end the week before we would get Falcon the Winter Soldier. Not as much. Broker. I mean, is that intentional for them to to spread it out and add three that three episodes? Me. Disney and Marvel are the most intentional people when it yeah, comes to their I was stories. Say, so sure. I'm think, sure whatever they're doing, is. they're doing it for a reason. I don't think it's the sole purpose. Like they wouldn't if they didn't have the content, they wouldn't expand it just to do that. But I'm sure they have the. Uh, they know what they're doing yeah. over there. They know what they're doing over there. So I, I was wondering if the where when it airs, when Falcon the Winter Soldier airs. Because it's going to be tying into whenever we're going to be getting Black Widow. I mean, if if they're if they're thinking that way, is like, Falcon and Winter Soldier in March? Isn't that in March nineteenth? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, Black Widow, as of right now, is supposed to be May seventh. So we'll see. <sighs> okay. Remember um, when it was supposed to be April of twenty twenty? Yeah. And then they were like, "No, nah, November twenty twenty." I had 2020. tickets to see Black Widow. Oh, geez. I returned them. But... Have mercy. You get some credit. Yeah, I got my credit. Oh, good. That's yeah. crazy. Good. That's what turned into my uh, Wonder Woman. One of my New Mutants. Uh, I was going to say New Mutants. No. Yeah, my, no, I didn't buy the New Mutants tickets. You did. I did buy the New Mutants yeah. tickets. That's sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. We, we are. It was all right. Sorry. I, still uh, I still haven't watched it. Me neither. Yeah, you're not missing anything. I'm sure. So, w- real quick, we're, uh, we're running out of time. What are you looking forward to reading? Uh, definitely the uh, Dark Detective, man. Future State Future definitely State. has everything I'm I'm going for right now. One hundred percent. Donovan. Death Metal. Boom. Got to catch up, bro. I am so excited for the final issue of Dead Planet. Like, oh yeah. No oh, the and way you're also, describing it, dude. I want to put Sunny uh, on real quick because you know they announced Gore as the next Thor villain, and I was like, oh yeah. cool. And Sunny was Butcher. like, no, you need to read. Yes. And I read both of the volumes he's in. Holy moly. So good. Gore the right. God Butcher. Gore the God Butcher so is going to be so, so good. Guys. And Christian so Bale, he'll, he'll knock it out. Oh, he'll yeah. knock it out. Yeah. He will. Um, what about you, man? I, I'm interested in just reading the huge stack of books that I have at home. <laughs> but uh, more Future State. I want to get more into the Future State. Heard good things about the Harley Quinn series. So I'm probably going to read that tonight. And uh, we'll see. Um, guys, again, we thank you for the support. It's a brand new year. We got lots of stuff coming for oh, you yeah, in the next man. few weeks. For yes. sure. Um, and we we appreciate you guys taking the time to check us out. Uh, Donovan, what do you want to say? Leave a comment. Comment, oh. like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and comment below who's your favorite sidekick. Who's someone that you've always really loved and wanted to see before? <laughs> Anytime. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Get involved. Uh, <laughs> that was fantastic. not going to be able to top that one. That no, Thank you so much, guys. Uh, <laughs> much love, Paul. Uh, be safe and have a wonderful time. Yeah. Go read some comics. Yes. I should be telling myself that to go read some comics. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Much love, guys. Peace. <laughs>